Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be going over some new weapons that have been found within the files of Fortnite Battle Royale. Before we get into the video, comment down how far your longest sniper kill you have ever gotten was. My personal longest so far has been, I believe it was a 274 meter kill. It was from the roof of one of the tallest buildings in Tilted Towers all the way to someone in the middle of Loot Lake. Also, I'm giving away 1000 V-Bucks to a lucky winner. To enter, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to turn on post notifications, and comment your console down below. I'll be drawing the winners very soon, so make sure to be active to know if you win or not. Without further ado, let's get right on in to today's video. Keep in mind throughout this video, just like other videos I've made very similar to this, all of these items have been found within the database of Fortnite Battle Royale. So please note, none of this information is official nor confirmed. Some of these weapons have been mentioned on the official Fortnite Twitter and even leaked by devs and it has been posted on the Reddit multiple times. I don't believe any of these weapons are in the saved world version of Fortnite, maybe one or two, but I tried to search all around and I did not find any info about these guns being in the save the world. I know I might be a little bit late to this info, but I thought I would share it anyways because I know some of you guys may not have seen these weapons. To begin, this is the tactical assault rifle. This rifle will be found only in the legendary form and will act very similar to the SCAR. The tactical assault rifle is actually fully automatic and has a high rate of fire with really good accuracy whilst aiming down the sights. This rifle will do 24 damage per shot with a magazine size of only 20 instead of 30 bullets like other rifles such as the AR and the SCAR. The reload time for this weapon is actually almost exactly the same as the scoped AR. This weapon will do 29 damage to buildings whereas the legendary SCAR does 31. The tactical assault rifle sounds like it would be way stronger than the SCAR, but in reality I think it's pretty balanced just looking at the stats, possibly a little bit weaker. Now for the scope on the rifle, I don't think it will be accessible, I know the scoped AR allows you to zoom in, but with this assault rifle, the scope will be off limits, as it says, a high rate of fire with solid accuracy when aiming down sights. The next weapon is the explosive crossbow. This crossbow shoots arrows with an explosive tip and will do quite a bit of damage to enemies. If you are hit in range by the explosive arrow, it will do a max of 79 damage to you while the regular crossbow does 75 damage in the rare form and 79 in the epic form if the bullets actually hit you. The explosive crossbow will be found in the epic rarity and I don't believe it will do any damage to walls. If you look at the RPG or the grenade launcher stats, both weapons have an environmental damage category and both weapons do 375 damage to buildings but this explosive crossbow does no damage to buildings as it says. When the crossbow arrow hits you directly and it explodes on you, it will do a total of 105 damage. That means if you have no shield whatsoever and you do get hit by this directly, that means it is game over or you are being knocked down. The crossbow looks very promising and I can definitely see it being involved in many fights. This next weapon is the FNP90. If you played other first person shooter games like Call of Duty or even CSGO, we can tell definitely where this weapon is heading. In Fortnite, the P90 is a machine pistol. It will fire at a very high rate dealing a ton of damage if you do land all shots. When fired in short bursts, it will be good for those mid range fights that we always struggle with. The P90 will do 14 damage per shot, which overall sounds like a very weak weapon, but if it has a fire rate of 20 and a magazine size of 50, if you can land at least 25 of those 50 shots in your mag, you will do a total damage of 350 which will easily take down any player with full shield and full health. The P90 is a perfect gun for quote unquote run and gun combat, meaning you basically just rush people with this gun. To put this weapon in perspective, the common SMG does 17 damage per shot, but only a fire rate of 9 and a magazine of 30. So the P90 does do a little bit less damage, but it has almost double the magazine size and double the fire rate. As we all know, the C4 is going to be coming out within the next few days, and originally the C4 was going to be released today, but the update version 3-3 was delayed. 
Nobody really knows the statistics of the C4 just yet, but they actually were leaked on this site. The C4 will do 100 damage to players if they are really close to the explosion or even stuck on them, and it will do 375 damage to structures. To put this in perspective, the RPG and the grenade launcher both in legendary rarities do 375 damage to structures, so the C4 will be one of those items that you will use at end game to destroy the enemy's base and make them fall to their death. The C4 will be detonated by your alternate fire such as a new keybind for it on your keyboard or controller, or you can even shoot the C4 to make it explode. Since you will actually be able to shoot the C4 to make it explode, this opens doors for so many new tactics. For example, you can place a C4 in a decoy base and camp on a hill with a sniper. You wait for someone to walk into your base and if you can shoot the C4 from there, it will explode. I definitely cannot wait for this new explosive to be released. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Lastly, we have the no scope hunting rifle. But this hunting rifle is actually in a common form. As we know, there is already a hunting rifle in Fortnite, but it comes in the uncommon and rare form. This sniper is practically a bolt action sniper rifle, just without the scope. It obviously will come in the common form and will do 81 damage to players with a reload time of about 2 whole seconds. This sniper will basically act the exact same as the hunting rifle and will only load one bullet into the chamber at a time. With this sniper being added, it will allow for many more people to have some sort of snipers so long range fights will definitely be a more common thing than it is today. Anyways, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Turn on post notifications to be notified whenever I upload or do go live. Let me know what you guys think about these weapons in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time.